Hey guys, welcome back to another new video, and today I'm going to show you guys how I have my Novation Mini Nova set up so that way I can receive external MIDI from, say, a device, a keyboard, any kind of MIDI source, or the actual MIDI from Ableton itself, and I'll show you guys pretty much how to set that up. Uh, first thing you guys want to do is you want to go to your options, your preferences. Sorry if you can't see that, I kind of got it zoomed in on the parts that I need. But uh, if you go to your MIDI tab, you'll see a couple of things. For one, the Mini Nova will receive MIDI through USB or through the MIDI ins and outs on the back of the device itself. In order to receive the MIDI ins and outs, your audio interface will have to have MIDI in and out. So if your device is capable, it'll be down here. You'll see my Sapphire Pro 40 has MIDI in output. I uh, have the track and the remote on. Now I would show you guys how to do this with the USB, but for some reason my Mini Nova, I got it used. And when I plug in the USB, I just get this weird low hum to it. It's really annoying and I didn't want it in the recording, so uh, I'll basically go over how to do that, but I'm not exactly going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, it's pretty much the same as the other stuff that I'm going to show you. It's just you have to change one setting and I'll go over it when it's time to go over that. So yeah, if you're using USB, you will see the Novation Mini Nova like in one of these. You'll see an input and an output and basically set on your track and your remote just like you would the audio interface. Let's go ahead and close this. All right, now I have my Mini Nova set up right here so that way I can input audio. You guys will hear that. Now, if you guys aren't receiving audio, make sure that this is set to in or make sure it's set to arm if it's still on auto because if not, you're not actually going to be playing notes through this. So if you're not getting any sound, that could be a thing why. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to in. Now what you're gonna wanna do to send MIDI to this is you want to insert a MIDI track. Uh, then you wanna go down here to where it says output. And for me, I'm throwing it through the MIDI on the Sapphire Pro 40. So I wanna choose the Pro 40 MIDI. And I wanna do it on channel one because that is the default that the Mini Nova is set to receive MIDI on. Now you can change this in the settings uh, if you have multiple devices to where you're constantly getting MIDI all over the place to multiple different synths and stuff like that, then you would have to change that. But I'm not going to go over that in this. Maybe if any of you are having that problem or want to see a tutorial on how to do that, I'll do that. But realistically, it's just going into the menu, finding where the MIDI channel is, and changing it to a different channel. So now what you want to do here is if I click the end, you'll see that launch key now works with this. So I can use this to play anything. Uh, you can use a keyboard. What this is useful for, for something like pads or if you're using like over there, I have a 61 key if you don't want to play on these little tiny keys. Uh, it's really useful for stuff like that. But another thing that it's really useful for, and this is the thing that I like to use it for the most, is to actually set up a MIDI track. I'm gonna turn this off so that way it doesn't interfere with anything. But right here, you will see that I have this MIDI set up and I have it on a loop so that way it'll just keep running. But then I have it set up so that that way this MIDI will be sent out and into the Mini Nova. So that way, say if you're really not good at like playing the keys and recording at the same time, you can set up a MIDI track and then just send it out to the Mini Nova and then send it back in and record. And I'll show you guys how to do that really quick. But uh, yeah, if I go ahead and play this. Now, there's no sound at all in here. There's no plugins or anything. What it's doing is it's running out of here and it's running into the Mini Nova and the Mini Nova is getting the note data right here. So if I do, yeah, okay, it'll keep recording. Say if I wanted to record that, I could arm this track right here. I could hit record. And as you can see, it's recording the audio right there. Let me go ahead and turn it up and you'll see the volume increase. So say if you guys wanted to record it to audio and stuff like that, uh, it's pretty useful, uh, especially if you're not really good at like playing and stuff like that. Uh, another thing you can do is vocoders. If you're not good at playing and doing the vocoder at the same time, one thing you can do is this. Let me go ahead and set this up. I want to pull this over here to these chords. Uh, chords work a lot better with vocoders just because you can... Uh, actually had time to talk before the note changes. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Let me go ahead and change this over to a vocoder. Um, let me find one. So yeah, so like the robot voice vocoder, I can do stuff like this. Hello. Hi guys, 
how's it going? Um, yeah, so basically, the way the bill cutter works is when it changes the notes. So, say if I can't uh, concentrate, uh, Now see, if you're really not that good on playing keys and stuff like that and using a vocoder and talking at the same time, trying to like make it just fit perfectly without having to concentrate on the keys, you can figure out what keys you want, put it into a MIDI effect, and then just run it back out until you're ready to record. And it just makes everything a whole hell of a lot easier, especially if you're not really good at like playing keyboard or something. You can just draw up some MIDI notes and use all the effects the MIDI Nova has to offer. So yeah, hopefully you guys uh, liked this video. Go ahead and leave it a like if you did. Leave it a dislike if you didn't. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more random stuff like this. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>